So how I'm thinking of it myself, and I'm fortunate to have built some wealth, but I'm not the richest man in the world by far, but it applies to everybody, is I think we've got this period, this six year period, where we need to build as much wealth as possible because things are clear. We've been given the greatest macro opportunity of all time, when everything is correlated and the everything code is driving everything, then let's take advantage of it. So if they're all being driven by the liquidity cycle, as a global macro card, my job's fucking easy. It's like, if everything is correlated, you only have one job to do. That's do a chart of all of these assets against each other and choose the asset that has the best risk of just returns and just do that. And that's why I'm so heavily involved in crypto. It is by far and away the best risk-adjusted return. Raul Pal articulates a unique macroeconomic opportunity spanning a six-year period, emphasizing the importance of wealth accumulation amidst unprecedented correlations across various asset classes. With global liquidity cycles driving market dynamics, Pal asserts that investment decisions are simplified, particularly in favor of crypto assets, which offer superior risk-adjusted returns. He dismisses concerns about traditional economic metrics like interest rates impacting crypto markets, attributing their performance primarily to the global liquidity cycle. Pell underscores the transformative role of technological advancements, particularly AI and robotics, in reshaping productivity and GDP growth. He predicts profound changes expected by 2030, envisioning an economic singularity where traditional economic rules are surpassed. With the rapid evolution of technology and AI, Pell suggests that economies may undergo unpredictable transformations, challenging conventional understanding and forecasting methods. Ever feel like you're wasting your money on things that don't really matter? Stop. You don't have time. Don't miss out on this 2025 bull run. Educate yourself now. Don't spend $12.50 on junk. Educate yourself on how to be successful in crypto using our crypto cheat guide. Unlock the secrets of crypto and make smarter investments today. Visit the website now and the link in the description for your exclusive copy. Start your journey to crypto success today. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to drop your comment and observations in the comment section below. Thanks and enjoy the video. So I've never had macro so easy. And you filter out all of the noise people talking about. It just goes away. People are like, well, you can't have crypto markets going to all time highs with 5% interest rates. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? An asset that goes up 100%, 200%, 300%, 5% doesn't care about your 5% interest rates. It literally doesn't. It cares about the global liquidity cycle, but we're in the part of the global liquidity cycle now where liquidity is expanding. And again, watch out for my videos on that. Again, I can't really spend the time going through all of my liquidity framework, but I do do it on Real Vision, as does Julian Bittle. So it is all out there to piece it all together. But it just is the best macro opportunity of all time, and it remains so. But technology is part of that. The whole exponential age thesis is also because technology outperforms the balance sheets. So we want to be investing in it. I prefer to massively weight towards crypto because it outperforms that. But the technology piece is incredibly important. And this is D David Matten and I uh, writing The Exponentialist. And what I write in GMI, again with David as well, is how important this is. And how important it is, is because it's going to usher in the next part of this equation. So if you go back to what I said before, GDP growth equals Population growth plus productivity growth plus debt growth. Debt growth's gone, finished. What they're doing is debasing the currency to, to pay for that. That's driving these assets up, creating some of the problems. The aging population, well, that's shrinking and therefore productivity is going down. Why I really care about the exponential age and why you should all care is twofold. Firstly, at an investment level. At an investment level, this is the future of GDP because you're going to change that formula by bringing in infinite productive units, humans, which is AI infinitely scales knowledge and robotics infinitely scales physical work. That's it. That's all you need to understand. We now have instant humans coming. Uh, instant, uh, um, infinite humans coming. That changes the whole equation. P 
productivity obviously increases, particularly if we can get the cost of energy down and people are working on that. We're seeing the rise of nuclear. We're seeing that is starting to take hold. We're seeing um, um, EV technology. We're seeing geothermal. We're seeing a bunch of different technologies lowering the cost of electricity. They don't yet scale enough for the needs that we have, which is where nuclear will come in. It's all coming. So you're going to lower the cost of energy, which means that your per unit production per unit of energy if energy halves it means productivity doubles if if energy falls by two-thirds it triples productivity tripling productivity with tripling uh, population is a complete change so within this and and then obviously within the exponential age there's so much more to it you know david and i write about it in the exponentialist a lot about you know how this is going to change our lives and this is the second key point is why you should invest in this stuff in technology and crypto is part of that whole thing the whole exponential age thesis as well is not only will it unfuck your future but it'll get you to understand what the hell is happening and what it means you see i think that productivity growth and this population growth solves our debt crisis I think what we will see is financial repression up until productivity starts increasing and GDP growth starts picking up and our problems get solved. I know that's not the most popular opinion. Most people think we're going to have a big reset and it's all going to go to shit and we're all going to go to war with each other. I think the opposite. I think we will literally completely change the rules of economics and it's coming faster than people expect. And this is why I want you to think about one thing. And this is the one thing I'm thinking about. Is, listen, there is another risk on the horizon. We've kind of solved via the everything code how we can unfuck our futures. But I can only get you to 2030. And this is troubling me. Is I live in the future and I've generally been following the same trends. If I've been following the same trend for 30 years, debt demographics and deflation, but something is about to change, if the structure of, of economies is driven by population productivity, that doesn't the rules don't apply. So I've got to a point where I've realized I think 2030 is the end of the entire economic regime that we've had the last thousand years or 2,000 years or longer. And that sounds ludicrous. We are not constrained by resources. Yes, there will be some resource constraints, but yes, the AGI will help us solve them. We'll be faster and faster at solving the constraints. AI will instantly solve supply chain, instantly solve electricity generation, grids, decentralized grids. There's so much that will change but the issue is, is beyond 2030, I start to see a world where GDP growth, global GDP growth could double in a year. It could double every quarter. We literally don't know what the impact of these technologies will have because it rewrites the magic formula of GDP. Now, I also don't know what business means in a world like this. What does any business mean? when AGI is around. And I'm not thinking of AGI as like this super omnipotent, scary thing. I'm just thinking about infinite knowledge that's infinitely scalable. What does that mean for businesses? You know, in a few years time, I won't even have to do these pieces. My a a avatar will just do them based on my knowledge. It's done. What does any business mean apart from being a plumber or stuff like that, which it's actually very hard to get the robots to that level yet. Obviously, it will happen in 50 years' time. So, you know, some of the basic structural work remains. But, and again, this is not the negative thing about the work story that all goes around. We all need to go to basic income. I'm actually trying to think about what the fuck it means for investing. What happens when you have an AGI that helps everybody become better investors because it sees everything? What is investing? What does it mean when everybody is building technology companies using their using AGI to build products? 
right? The iteration cycle is too fast. We're already seeing it. I actually think OpenAI using uh, AGI to build product um, to get them to the state of AGI so it's not a shock and then they keep iterating. They, there's about 500 people work for that company, yet they nuke every single business that's starting to scale something in AI. It's not normal to see stuff like this. The speed of iteration blows up new companies. I'm not sure how long companies last. I don't know what is a company in a world like this. I, I really don't understand how it's going to play out. But I do know between now and let's say 2030, now I'm not sticking to that date. It's not like 2030, the date of doom. It's like somewhere around then we start hitting this economic, economic singularity. It's not the singularity, but it's economic work. We just don't, we can't even predict how economies work anymore. In a comprehensive analysis, Raoul Pell discusses a pivotal six-year macroeconomic opportunity marked by unprecedented correlations across asset classes, emphasizing the imperative of wealth accumulation. With global liquidity cycles steering market dynamics, Pell advocates for crypto assets due to their superior risk-adjusted returns, dismissing concerns about traditional economic metrics impact. Additionally, he underscores the transformative potential of technological advancements, particularly AI and robotics, in reshaping productivity and GDP growth. Pal anticipates significant changes by 2030, envisioning an economic singularity where conventional economic paradigms are eclipsed. As the video concludes, Pal encourages viewers to adapt to the evolving landscape and prepare for the unpredictable transformations driven by technology and AI. For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.